Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of The Powerful Man Show. I am your host, Doug Holt, with my co-host, Tim, The Powerful Man Matthews. What's going down, brother? Doing well. Yeah. As, uh, as always, we had a chat before I hit record. So, <laughs> I hit record uh, obviously... a little bit before you were ready to get started, which <laughs> yeah. I always love. Yeah, you do. You do. So obviously, you know what's going down. But for the listeners, um, so I'm injured. I was thinking of you, actually. Um, so as you know, I've been going to, I joined a, a gym, right? A martial arts gym, because I just wanted to do something like that. And Tybo, right? What's that? Taibo. Uh, well, it does all sorts. CrossFit, kickboxing, jujitsu, MMA, all that stuff. And I've been going to the fitness classes Tuesday and Thursday morning. And then last Saturday, I, I randomly booked onto a jiu-jitsu class after the CrossFit class. <laughs> I'm not having a clue what to expect, obviously. <laughs> um, did the CrossFit class, watched the jiu-jitsu class start, and the guys there start goading me, right? Oh, well, just, you know, just warm up and just see how it goes from there. Ah, oh, you'll be all right. Just warm up. So I warm up. Oh, you've warmed up. Just try this first round of rolling. Yeah. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so anyway, I finished the session and loved it. That's Absolutely fun. loved it. I just loved just trying to beat someone up, quite honestly. Although that's not like jujitsu, right? But I don't know the moves yet. So I'm just using brute strength to try and push people, you know. Anyway, went again on Tuesday, Monday evening. Um, and this guy got me in this move and my knee just tweaked. I'm like, oh no, what is that? And since then, I've just been resting it, hoping I can go tomorrow. My plan is to go tomorrow morning. Um, but yeah, I thought of your thigh when I was thinking this knee, because obviously when you did your thigh, you were so into your training, yep. loving it. And I was so into this, loving it, to the point where I'd started to train twice a day and just finding the time as you do, right? Because you're just loving it, right? Yep. And uh, I was like, oh, God, I hope it's nothing serious. I hope it's, you know, and, as it, and you'll know what it's like because you're in fitness. You go through all this, or you've been in fitness. You go through all the scenarios of what it could be. Yep. Which makes it worse. <laughs> ACL is a PCL, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, yeah, exactly. LCL, MCL. So I'm like, oh God. Anyway, it feels a little bit better today. And there was something with my elbow as well. And, and I come back, I've got bruises all over. You can kind of kind of see, kind of not. Got bruises like all over my arms and stuff. And um it's crazy to me that you can just sign up for a jujitsu class. Like, like, hey, I'm just gonna do jujitsu today. Like the places I've trained would not allow that to happen. Well, it's <laughs> The first three quarters of the class is practicing moves. Sure. And, the, and there's no submission. There's just like pr technique, right? Yep. Obviously, I, I don't know what I'm doing. And then you, you get a into gi? a few. What's that? You, it, does anybody wear a gi? Or is it gi or no gi? I assume they wear, a, they wear a gi when it gets to the actual r rounds. Then at the end, there's like three rounds of five minutes that people do with each other. Um, so I had to go at that. I was just hanging on for dear life. Yep. <laughs> you know, people try to get me into submission moves and I'm just using brute strength to resist. Um, so it was, yeah, it was, it was great fun. Man. So hopefully uh, tomorrow my knee's okay. Got kickboxing Friday. So um, that'll be fun because I love tie boxing. So kickboxing will be fun. Hopefully my knee will be okay. So, um, so yeah, I've not shared that with you. No, I didn't even know you're doing CrossFit either. Um, we could do a whole thing on, I think, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, because I know we have a lot of listeners who either have practice or practice or are interested, because I think a lot of the philosophies, I understand it. And look, guys, I am nowhere even near an expert. I don't even know if I qualify to wear the white belt. Um, and I think there's a lot of, of similarities that we can talk about what we see with the guys, but that's not what we're here to talk about today. Mm -hmm. uh, so something really cool happened, Tim. So we have one of our programs is called the inner circle. And as a lot of our longtime listeners and guys in the inner circle know, it's one of our high end mastermind groups and coaching groups, really. It's a mastermind coaching event hybrid. Uh, so some guys will pay upwards of 55K or so to be in uh, as a member of the inner circle. And one of the guys, you know, started with us 
and he was having a completely sexless marriage. And let me paint the picture a little bit for it because, you know, a lot of us have been here. I've been in this situation before where your marriage is not only sexless, where you're not having sex, there's no intimacy, but it's just fighting, right? It's anger. Cause that what happens typically, Tim, as you know, is when you're having a sexless marriage, the intimacy is not there. You start to become roommates, right? We call it the roommate with a ring syndrome that happens a lot to a lot of guys. So you and your wife become roommates and then you start to look around and go, this isn't even a cool roommate, right? This isn't like the roommate I had in college that when I got home, tossed me a beer and we sat on the couch and watched sports center or, you know, whatever, um, sky sports, I guess in the UK, but watch <laughs> sports. And we, 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 we just chilled and hung out and then we went out and played pool later. No, this is the roommate. When you get home, doesn't want you drinking a beer is going to bitch at you if you do and wants to you to clean the house and do all these other things that you clearly haven't done, right? They're finding problems. So you're in the situation where you're in the sexless marriage and you're fighting all the time. You can't tell if you want to, do you want to kill yourself or do you want a divorce? It's like one of the two, right? Or maybe you're just going to go cheat because that's easier. But at, at that point, it's just, it's horrible. It's horrible. So this guy had been trying everything. When I say everything, everything under the sun to basically have sex with his wife, right? He was trying all of these things to do so. So that's where he was, right? And again, I've been there, so I can totally identify with this guy's plight and his problems. And I'm guessing a lot of our listeners can. Well, back to the inner circle. So part of the inner circle is uh, if you're a member of that, you have access to three of our coaches. That's Tim Matthews, myself, and Arthur Magulianiti, just like saying his last name. Um, so you have access to three of us on a voice app, right? So we can go back and forth and, and leave messages. So guys will often say, hey, this is what's happening in my business or my personal life or whatever it may be. And they're going to get laser coaching on that issue, you know, really fast. And that's even one of the one of the advantages. And this guy posted, said, hey, look, he posted a text on, in this in this app. Said, look, this is what's going on. My wife has massive anxiety issues. And we got in an argument and she stormed out of the house, right? So he was, he was kind of framing this for us so we know what was happening. And oftentimes guys will share this with us. And usually it's kind of like, hey, what next do I do? Well, this guy had been following what we've been teaching for a little while. He's been in our program, went, started off in the activation method, right? Then graduated to the brotherhood and then to the inner circle quickly. He decided, hey, look, I'm doubling down because it's working. So anyway, in this message right? Sexless marriage. Everything's horrible. He's tried everything in the world. Now he, his wife has another fit, right? Common for them in their marriage. Storms out. Usually this erupts into a huge argument and a fight where they're even more disconnected for weeks, if not months going on. Instead, instead he is practicing what we teach. And not too long after his wife storms out, she apologizes to him says, I love you and I want your dick. <laughs> so literally goes from used to be the old them, the pattern they were in for years, Tim, was she would have anxiety, storm out. They would fight. They'd blame each other. They'd be disconnected, call each other names. It was awful, right? Neither of them wanted to be around each other, et cetera, et cetera. We all know that story. All of us have been there in a relationship. Fast forward to a couple of days ago, right? He's been practicing a lot of the techniques that we teach in the activation method, but also more advanced techniques that we have. And next thing you know, his wife storms out, same thing, right? She's still going through her emotional turmoil, but the way he showed up as a man, the way he showed up as that powerful man resulted in her realizing she was the issue and her realizing that he was there for her and her realizing not only that, but he was fucking sexy and she wanted him. She wanted him so much that she apologized, told him he loved, told him that she loved him, which she didn't normally do, and she wanted his cock. I mean, talk about an amazing situation there. Uh, I'm sure when you saw that, you had a big smile on your face as well for this guy. Big time. Um, as you were talking about the story, I was thinking, man, if he would have got that text a few months ago, like prior to the activation method, he would have probably thought, hang on a minute, who's she texting? Like, who's she seeing outside of this marriage? Because <laughs> that is not for me, right? Yep. And, I, and I wonder how many guys listening might right now think, 
hmm, if I could, I got a text right now, I'd think my wife was up to something. But that's how fast it can turn around, right? When you actually do the work and you do the right thing, right? Um, because, you know, a lot of the guys, when they come to us, they, they're kind of scrambling, you know, trying to find the answers from lots of different places. And the wife can often tell that there's that frantic energy that goes with it, right? So there's no certainty there. So it's amazing how quickly it can turn around when you're doing the right thing at the right time and you're consistent. And as we spoke about before, he's, he's unattached, right? He's, he's not, that isn't his uh, intention to get that kind of text from her, but he gets it. He, and he does. And I'm looking at my phone right now, which I know the listeners can't see, but you can, Tim. Um, we'll call this guy Jay, right? Uh, and so Jay, you know, shared that with us. There's a little bit more there. And, you know, I replied to him and said, dude, doesn't get much better than that, man. Enjoy giving her what she wants, you know, cause <laughs> she's requesting, you know, his cock. And he just replies a little bit later. So he replied <laughs> a lot later. He's like, true story, man, was it epic. <laughs> I mean, I, you know, this guy and I do too. He's just, an ep- he's just an awesome guy. Awesome, awesome guy, solid, salt of the earth person, uh, business owner, of course. And for him to have that transition to this and now, and look what he's bringing to his wife and now to his kids, the energy in his home, right? His wife is still going to be emotional. That's just the way it is, right? My wife's still emotional as well. And nothing wrong with that. They're, they're still doing what they, it is they do. However, that transition for her to leave the house, storm out like she, she's done probably hundreds of times, and instead of the fight ensuing, which the kids are going to watch, right? The kids can feel the energy in the house. We all know that as fathers and parents. Instead of that, he's in his power. He's doing the things that we're talking about, right? And this didn't happen overnight, guys. Like, this guy's been working on this. So, you know, it doesn't happen overnight. And, but when he does it right, the combination, that's when it happens overnight. So, she leaves the house. The kids, you know, are used to this chaos, but all of a sudden, it's calm. It's peaceful in the home. She comes back, right? They, I assume, because he didn't allude to all the details, just that it was epic. I assume they had a good time together. Imagine the energy in that home, right? There's an energy of love. There's an energy of peace, energy of calmness. He's feeling like the friggin' man, right? Top of the world, a king. Here he is, his queen, the woman he loves, the woman he asked to marry him. She is asking for him, the intimate parts of him. She wants to be in union with him, right? She's not looking just to get off. She's basically saying, you're sexy as hell, the way you're acting, the way you're you're showing up as a man, my man, and I want you. I want you inside of me. I want, you know, whatever that is. She is alluding to a lot of subtext here that women would say, basically that I want to be in union with you, like a spiritual way, an intimate way. And that's what, as guys, as a married man, that's what I want, right? I don't want just sex. I mean, yeah, I want it. Don't get me wrong. But I want the connection, the intimacy, the respect, right? She's respecting him. She's showing her admiration, respect through that text and what she's saying. And, and not that, that that's what she's consciously doing, but it's happening naturally, right? She's basically saying, man, you're showing up as a powerful man, the man that I've always seen. And even though I'm going through, you know, basically, thank you so much for this. You're giving me the gift of being this powerful man. And I want to show my appreciation and thanks for you. That's what I read into it. The sub thing is you and I've been coaching for so long, Tim is, and as a father, the, the harmony in that home, this guy's going to bring it to his business. There's going to be an ROI in his business, right? Not only an ROI in the bedroom, which is what he was really, what he was hoping for, but there's an ROI in the business now right? Because he's bringing them. And I know this because I talk to him regularly and I actually have his his monthly review tomorrow, Tim, with him. And his business has exponentially increased. Why? Is it all of a sudden he had this newfound business knowledge? Eh, Some Probably some stuff that he's learned from the other guys. That's part of the advantage of being in a network with other business owners, right? But 90% of it is his psychology and the way that he's playing the game, 
right? The confidence he goes into the business field, the confidence he has, the clarity, because he's not worried about what his wife's doing. He's not worried about the fights, the stress, and will this ever go over? And the worry about how he's going to get set. Am I going to get laid? Am I not going to get laid? This is horrible. You know, he's not focused on that. Instead, he's focused on abundance and what he can actually achieve out there. And he's coming from a different place. Most likely that place that he imagined he would be in when he was getting married, when he's standing at the altar, looking at this woman, thinking, we're going to crush this together, this life together. We're going to crush it. And somewhere along the way, it went off. It went off the rails. And now, according to him, it's better than he could have ever possibly imagined. And it's friggin' awesome to see. Yeah, I think for me, one of the things that stands out about this, and you know, we talk a lot about part of being a powerful man is by default, you also become a lighthouse, right? We spoke about lighthouse and tugboat before. And for her to for to for her to be able to create a storm like that, and for him to be the lighthouse and stand firm and grounded and not run away or not react or not judge her or not do anything, but give her the space to, to be emotional and be who she is and still love her through it. And not only love her through it, but also remain grounded in who he is, right? So he doesn't get sucked into it. He stays the man that she fell in love with in the beginning, right? That for her says, hey, I can be myself around you. You love me for being me. And part of that then feeds to this whole, I want to be in union with you. Yep. And we're using union also just so we don't have to keep saying that she wants his cock <laughs> <laughs> over and over again. Because hey, look, yeah. a lot of our guys listen to this with their uh, kids in the car, or, you know, um, and I want to be as I have kids. So I want to be as respectful as possible also to the ladies. Uh, we have a lot of women that listen to this podcast. So uh, again, but this is a true story. This is reality here, guys. This is not anything made up. In fact, Tim, you shared this post. I reached out to him and said, hey, man, do you mind if we share this, if we just take out your name? Um, and he's like, absolutely. And what I said to him, I go, I, I have to imagine. I have to imagine, because I remember when I was going through this, that this would provide a lot of guys hope. It would have me. Like the powerful man mm -hmm. wasn't around. And if I would have, if I would have seen this, I would have been like, yes, that's, that's what I'm looking for right there. That's what I want. What this guy has, um, you know, give me some of that. And just, you know, it's just the cool thing about the benevolent alphas and the guys that are in our, that are in involved in the movement that we call the powerful man is they're selfless, right? They want to give back. And there he's like, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And this is a guy that's very private. Right. He doesn't like talking about himself or sharing those things about himself. He doesn't need to, right? He's a benevolent alpha man. And the benevolence is the giving back part. And he's like, absolutely, you know, go for it. And there was some smiles and, and jokes back and forth, you know, as you get to, you know, I'm close with him. He's just a great guy. So um, yeah. And and Tim, if you guys haven't seen this yet, Tim shared the cropped version of the message in our private Facebook group. So it's a private Facebook group. So if you guys, if you're, you want to go over there, it's for business owners, you can go in there. There's a couple thousand guys, business leaders in there, and you can actually read this message, right? Legitimately read it and see it there. And we wanted to take it a step further because the response that we got was so relevant when we first started talking about this within the smaller group or network, you know, guys were like, oh yeah, I'm experiencing that too. We thought, hey, let's put on a free training, right? We haven't done a free training in a while. Let's put on a free training where we can show guys, you know, men, business owners, right? To businessmen, exactly how this guy, again, I'll call him Jay, how Jay did this, how he went from sexless marriage where they're fighting all the time to a point where his wife is sending him a text saying she wants, desires his cock, right? And he's having sex in the bedroom, but connected, right? Not just, oh, I'm just getting laid, but connected, awesome sex. And so how do you do it? So we're going to share that in this group, guys, and we're going to share it. But by the time this podcast goes out, Tim, the guys are only going to have a few days to get in. Um, and I'm not saying that as some kind of hype or anything. I'm just looking at it realistically. Uh, the reason that is, is we close the group, guys. There's going to be a continuum in the trainings. Tim, uh, the team and I sat down yesterday and kind of mapped it out, how we could think we could do this and pull it off for you guys and get you guys the results you're after. And it needs to be in a continuum. Everybody has to show up. This is not a... 
just listen to Doug and Tim or the other coaches talk and that's good. No, this is going to be like a workshop. We're going to get this done for you guys uh, in a short, compressed period of time. So you want to get over to that Facebook group and raise your hand, right? And when I say raise your hand, what I mean by that is in order to get into the group, because it's going to be a secret group. And what I mean by secret is, you know, Facebook, how it works. Nobody can find the group. Nobody can see who's in the group. Only those people who are selected and approved to come in can actually be involved in this. And the reason we do this is multifaceted. One, it's private. It's a free training. Like this is something we are giving back to you guys. Two is it needs to have the continuity of the community and the trainings. So if I'm leading a training, I need you guys to be there, right? And, and to do the work before you can go on to step two, just like baking a cake, right? You don't go to step four, right? You don't put the flour in the oven, take it out, then crack the eggs, right? And then there's your cake. No, the eggs and everything has to be in a step. It's the same thing with this. It's a step-by-step -step process. So guys, if you're listening to this now and you're interested, you got to get over to that Facebook group, find the thread where Tim's talking about this. We'll mark it as, a, as an announcement, Tim. We'll make that sure it's an announcement in there. And guys, raise your hand in there um, before, you know, not before it's too late. I hate to say that, but do it today, right? When you're listening to this, because when this airs, if I'm not mistaken, Tim, these guys will have only two to three days to get in there. Or so maybe a little bit longer, maybe a couple more days. Um, but when this comes out, you want to be in right away. So if you're listening to this, go for it. If, if you're catching up on podcasts and it's a month later, it's too late. Sorry, guys. I don't mean to be a jerk. It's just, you know, our time is also precious. So is yours. And we can't just keep doing these trainings all the time. So this is the one where we're going to teach you how Jay went from, you know, being in the sexless marriage where he's fighting with his wife to actually having amazing sex where she's angry, leaves, apologizes, says, I love you. And I want your cock. There's a process to doing this. Um, and it's not as difficult as you think. It's, it's the subtleties and nuances that make the difference here. Yeah, so we'll be letting, I think, providing enough guys raise a hand and tell us they want this, right? We've already got it mapped out, like you said. Sunday, the 15th of August is when we will open the group and let the men in. And I think we've scheduled the first training to, to I think we're going to be doing that on the 17th of August, uh, there or thereabouts. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think by the time you're hearing this, guys, it's probably going to be around the 11th, maybe maybe even the 13th of August. So if I were you and you're interested in this, then yeah, head over there. Uh, you can find the Facebook group really easily. Just go on Facebook, uh, The Powerful Man, type it in, you'll see a group. You will have to apply to become a member, but you know, simple, easy process there. Um, and then providing you're accepted, you'll see the post right at the top. Uh, you'll see the text message as well. And um, just... Make yourself available on that by raising your hand, just liking it, following the instructions. And then what we'll do is be able to get you into that community and workshop ready to start on the 15th. Now, some guys have already asked us, is there a, is there a price for this? Because, you know, um, it's going to be running for pr probably three weeks, providing the first training, you know, all the guys take action. And we've seen the guys actually apply what we're sharing because like, Doug said a moment ago, um, the steps follow on, right? So there's no point us just jumping ahead to step three if you guys haven't taken step one. It's just a waste of time. So providing you guys are taking the action, then you, you will get a result. Um, you just will. Uh, the, so is there a cost? No, there's not. Um, some people have said there should be, but no, we're just going to share this with you guys. And um, our request in return is that you do the work. And um, share with us the results because it'd be great to have a, tons more text messages coming in like that from guys that are getting variations of that text. Yeah, absolutely, man. I mean, it makes my day every time, you know, the guys in the movement are sharing this kind of stuff. The, the, we have a, a community that's off of Facebook where um, current guys that are in the activation method groups, the brotherhood, the inner circle, the one-on-one -on -one coaching and alumni are all in. And those guys are sharing stuff left, right, and center. And it's awesome to see. So if you guys aren't involved in the powerful man movement currently, in other words, you haven't gone through an activation method, we like to see yours wins too, right? This is a movement of men. Uh, you know, we, we actually formed a nonprofit with the idea 
the sole idea that we want to put ourselves out of business. In other words, we want the whole world, all men like you, to be achieving at such a high level that there's nothing, no need for us anymore. And Tim and I and the other coaches can move on and do something else. That is our legacy goal here, guys. And part of giving back is you starting with this, right? Get into this community, get into this free training. It's not going to be something we're going to do every quarter or what have you. This is a, a one shot deal. I only have so much time. I'm, you know, I'm traveling. I got my family. So I'm going to take time out of my day. Tim's going to take time out of his to open this training up to you guys. And so you want to take advantage of that. 100%. Awesome, Tim. Uh, and a quick shout out to this guy. If he's listening to the podcast, man, I'm just so impressed with you, man. You're doing, you did the work, you're getting the results. And that's a shout out to all you guys in the activation method currently, the brotherhood, the inner circle, and one on one. You guys are crushing it. So just a shout out to you guys. Uh, you know, public shout out. I'd love to call you guys all out by, by name, but that'd be another two hour podcast here going through. Uh, so I love you guys. I truly do. Gentlemen, that's a wrap for us here at the Powerful Man Show. As always, do the work. We have an insight. Take action immediately. Don't wait. Don't calendar it. Take action immediately. Let it flow through you. Until next time, we'll see you on another episode of The Powerful Man Show.